For another big story this morning, Donald Trump is launching a 2024 presidential run. The former president made the announcement last night at his Florida home, Mar-a-Lago. CBS News' John Diaz joins us now. Trump's announcement follows an FBI raid in August, multiple grand jury investigations, and a new challenger in the Republican Party. It's a lot. Yeah, it seems like the list continues to go on, right? A bunch of obstacles right in front of former president Donald Trump. But likely, you know, one of the hardest obstacles, his own party seemingly backing away from him and a feud with the governor of Florida another possible 2024 candidate. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. After hinting about this for weeks, former President Donald Trump making it formally known that he wants his old job back. America's golden age is just ahead. While touting how he would grow America's economy, he slammed President Joe Biden. Our country is being destroyed before your very eyes. In two years, the Biden administration has destroyed the U.S. economy. Then, just hours after Trump's announcement, President Joe Biden tweeting out what appears to be an attack ad. You also had people that were very fine people on both sides. Do you believe in punishment for abortion? Yes or no? There has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah. Concluding it with one sentence, Trump failed America. Trump's announcement comes as numerous Republicans are pinning the blame for recent midterm losses on Trump. Many of his endorsed candidates lost their races, and the red wave most within the party were hoping for never happened. Quickly after, Trump's potential rivals started taking shots. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis was asked about Trump's recent attacks on him. I would just uh, tell people to go check out the scoreboard from last Tuesday night. Now, his own daughter, Ivanka Trump, is saying she has no plans to be involved in her dad's campaign. Posting on Instagram in part, this time around, I am choosing to prioritize my young children and the private life we are creating as a family. And speaking of Ivanka, she was not there last night when her father made this announcement, but he did speak in front of a crowd of several hundred people. Chris? Okay, John, thank you.